Assalamu alaikum my name is Omar Shumas Riyaz you are watching my youtube channel in this video we will see that how we can simulate a component separator in Aspen plus so when we will use a component separator suppose that you are having a stream of any flow rate you want to separate the components of this stream so you can do it by using a distillation column liquid liquid extraction absorption column or any other uh, separation equipment or technique in Aspen plus but till the time in your simulation you have not selecting any separating equipment so you can use this component separator for your mass balance calculations so now moving to our simulation uh, problem you can see that uh, in the problem we are having a stream of flow rate 50 kg mole per hour and it consists of benzene and toluene mole fraction have been given to us and we will uh, do use a component separator to get the top and bottom flow rates and the top flow rate must have 0.99% uh, benzene and 0.01% uh, toluene or you can say 0.99 mole fraction of benzene and 0.01 mole fraction of toluene so let's start with our simulation first of all I will add my components that are benzene and toluene now I am adding my second component that is toluene after this I will press this next button for uh, both my components are organic compounds so I will use Peng Robinson as my uh, fluid package after this I will press this run button now you can see that my results are available I will directly move to the simulation environment now I am in the simulation environment here you have to click this separators and this uh, SEP uh, this is a separator or you can say component separator I will drag it onto the main screen after this I will increase its size now I will make connections uh, for my material streams so th and that is my field stream uh, as I will be having two product streams so I will add my two product streams after this I will specify uh, my field stream temperature I will take as you can take any temperature if uh, temperature have been given to us I am taking as 25 degrees pressure I am taking as one bar molar flow rate uh, that was 50 kg mole given specified in the uh, question problem or you can say problem statement now I will select this mole fraction and uh, the benzene and toluene uh, here 0.3% uh, was benzene and 0.7% mole fraction sorry was for toluene after this I will press this next button now here you have to specify the uh, split fractions uh, uh, that how much uh, you can say that how much of the mole fraction goes to the top and bottom so here and uh, this is the outlet stream S3 it will it will be the top stream so this is S3 and this is the top stream so uh, in the top product uh, we have been given this given that uh, we are we we want to have 0.99 percent of benzene so i will write here as 0.99 percent and 0.0.1 percent for toluene after this you will see so now you can see that my run button has been activated uh, so i will press this uh, run button uh, and to simulation for simulation to happen so now uh, I will go to my stream results this is my block B1 and here are my uh, stream results so now you can see that I will scroll it down so that are the molar uh, flow flows and their mole fractions sorry that are the molar flows and the mole fractions are these so it is just a simple mass balance and that uh, we can perform uh, using a component separate. in this question I have split it uh, my field stream into two streams so you can also uh, split it into two to uh, two or any uh, amount of uh, sub streams or you can say product streams for that you have to specify uh, more than one uh, split ratios like here I have only specified uh, split ratios or you can say that uh, components for S3 if you will be having uh, you can say that three uh, uh, product streams so you will have to specify uh, the compositions for S3 uh, and S4 and your third one uh, will be uh, S5 so it will be uh, automatically or uh, cal calculated by S1 plus so I hope you like the video inshallah meet you in another video assalamu alaikum